Hi, this is DreamlineStudio.com, and today we're going to learn how to create a simple uh, drop shadow on both um, some text and also uh, just a simple object. Um, this is a pretty simple, but usually a, um, an effective way to add a, a drop shadow. So uh, open up, uh, you can use um, any type of uh, background image um, to place the text and the, the drop shadow on. So I just use this one. Um, let's try the text first. I already have my text already, but you know, um, go ahead and just add text to the um, to uh, the image, the background image that you have. Okay, um, select your text and just move it right around there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to add another layer and then we're going to take the uh, uh, the elliptical marquee tool and we're going to make sure that we're going to select black okay and then we're going to create a uh, elongated circle here and we're going to probably do it no 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 longer than the actual word so right around here um, we're gonna let go and then um, making sure that the uh, black is on the foreground um, you can toggle this way but you know uh, hit um, alt delete on your keyboard that fills in the uh, the selection and then control D to deselect and now you have this, you know, UFO shape uh, looking um, underneath your drop shadow. Now that's cool and everything, but it's definitely not convincing. That is, that's pretty harsh. So um, what we're going to do at this point is uh, we're going to go to your um, uh, we're going to your filter blur and Gaussian blur. Okay, we're going to see this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change the radius to maybe uh, I don't know, 38. 38 sounds good. 36, whatever. We're going to hit OK. Now you're going to see that it's a bit more convincing. Um, so you can take the uh, drop shadow down here, uh, move it around. Um, what I like to do is, um, if you have the newer Photoshop, um, let's make this smaller. Is um, I like to um, use. Let's see here. I like to use the warp um, and kind of move uh, these two points forward to make it seem like you know the text is uh, has a little more depth. So you want to change the uh, the uh, the shadow a little bit and, and make it look like it's coming forward. Okay, and then. Um, hit the uh, hit that button to apply. Now I like it, but it's still a little harsh. Um, so what I what I would recommend is um, is go back to your layers palette and change the, uh, the opacity of that drop shadow because it's still a little harsh. So with this uh, with the layers palette open, uh, click on the uh, shadow layer and go to your opacity and drop it down to maybe around uh, I don't know 56 percent now obviously you can play around with the uh, with the opacity and, and choose a setting that you feel is, is better uh, so there you go uh, you have a, a pretty quick drop shadow and it looks like um, it's just kind of hanging there above everything else. Um, you can also change, uh, if you want to, 
you can change the uh, the size of it by going to edit transform um, a scale and you can actually just uh, decrease the uh, the height of it um, or just make it a tad shorter um, so double click in the middle um, so it really depends on what what looks good to the eye but that's a pretty quick way of adding a drop shadow to uh, text now let's do an image it's basically the same thing so let's get rid of that 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 shadow actually let's leave that shadow um, or now nah, I'll delete it and create another one so um, so that way you, you learn um, so I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, trash this. I'm going to trash this drop shadow layer, and uh, I'm sorry, the text, and I'm going to trash the uh, the shadow. Okay, so I'm going to make the object visible, and now you have just basically an on-air box, and we're just going to add uh, a a, sh a drop shadow to it. Um, like it's hovering in in space. <laughs> so um, with with objects like this, it's easier to, it's more convincing to do a drop shadow this way. So let's go ahead and add the drop shadow. In your layers palette, you want to create a new layer, and we're going to drop this layer underneath the object, um, and then we're going to use the this tool here, the elliptical marquee tool, to create a, kind of an oval looking shape. Underneath the object, um, just let go. Alt delete to fill in the selection. Control D to deselect. And then we're going to go to our, um, our layer, layer style, oh, I'm sorry, uh, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're going to leave it at 36, um, radius at 36. Point four, and already it looks good. Um, it's because we're playing with the last um, that we're playing with the text drop shadow, so it's kind of already set. Um, again, you can play with the uh, with the warp, uh, which is um, edit, transform, and warp, and you can play with um, moving the the shadow, the drop shadow forward a little bit. To give it a little more more depth, and um, hit apply, and move this around. You can put it closer, uh, higher up. Um, since you have the shadow underneath the um, the object, um, you can put it directly underneath, which gives it a really cool effect, um, like it's sitting closer to the ground, or you can put it on the bottom. It, and make it seem like it's floating. That's pretty much it. It's kind of a, a cheat way of adding a drop shadow. Um, hope you enjoy. Thanks.